and Mrs. Madden. Mr. Michael Haberfield, he is here representing Mort Lake Bus Lines, who are donating the prize this evening. They, are, they will be escorted by the President of the Old Time District Dance Club, Mr. Jones and Mrs. Jones. The piper is Mr. John Pickford. Mr. Bruce Jones. Would you please welcome Bruce? Thanks, Lawrence. Uh, Mr. Mayor, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it gives me very great pleasure tonight to, uh, to welcome all the members of the official party. Uh, we trust they'll enjoy the program. It's a different program to our normal uh, type that we have at the Old Time Dance Club. Uh, of course, the highlight this evening will be the presentation of the uh, Debs and their partners vying for the Bell of Debs title. And before uh, calling on uh, uh, the, uh, our new Mayor to say a few words, I would like to say a word of congratulations to him on his uh, elevation to the office of uh, Mayor of Wollongong. So ladies and gentlemen, now, without further ado, uh, there's a big program to get through. Uh, would you all welcome to the microphone uh, the Mayor of Audible, Councillor Ron Anderson. I'm sorry, I didn't give Ron his full title. His Worship the Mayor, Councillor Ron Anderson. Sorry, Ron. Thank you very much, Bruce. Uh, Mr Chairman, members of the uh, Old Time Dance Club Committee, uh, members from the Premier Town, uh, all the debutants that are here tonight, and uh, I understand they're from uh, uh, quite a few places. I understand there's some here from Tarang and Mortlake and uh, Port Ferry. It's uh, certainly a pleasure for me to be to be up here and to welcome you all here tonight on behalf of the uh, of the Old Time Dance Club. I uh, I must say that from my point of view. Uh, uh, as a new mayor, I'm finding that every night I, uh, I learn something new. And uh, last night I uh, went along to the uh, St. Joseph's Parish Ball. And the first lesson I learned was when somebody says to you, uh, get up and have a dance, you must find out what the dance is because uh, they were doing an evening two-step. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, that's not my uh, greatest uh, dance, I must add. Uh, I blame Margaret, however, because uh, Margaret said to me, uh, why don't you watch one of the Debs? But she didn't tell me which Deb to watch. I think we're watching different Debs. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate the, uh, the committee for putting on the dance. Uh, I think you're all very well aware that the, the funds from the, uh, from the dance here tonight do go to charity. And that's, uh, that's always very welcomed in this city, uh, the, the way that the charities are looked after, and it's clubs like this that, uh, that do a marvellous uh, job. To all of the uh, devs that are here tonight, I'd like to uh, wish you every success in the, uh, in the competition for the Bell of the Dead. Uh, looking around earlier, I'm sure you would all uh, agree it's going to be a pretty tough job for somebody to pick someone out. I'm certainly glad that I'm not involved in that. The, as far as uh, uh, the rest of the, the program is concerned, I would hope that everyone here has a very enjoyable and a delightful evening.
Thanks very much, Mr. Mayor, and also to Bruce. Now we come to our presentation of our devs, and I'd like to call on Mrs. Dorothy Luderman to do just that. Mrs. Luderman. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Warrnambool and District Old Time Dance Club have been very proud to be associated with the Premier Town Committee, and this is our third Premier Town Ball. It's a ball, as Bruce, our President, said, it's certainly with a difference. And we would like to thank all the girls who are participating tonight. But we must also thank the boys. They seem to be the shy ones. And we have had boys come down from the Hamilton Old Time Dance Club tonight to partner some of the girls. And some of our local Warrnambool boys have helped as well for girls that did not have partners. So thank you very much. I must get that little bit in first. Now the prize tonight for the Belle of the Debutant is a weekend for two to the snow and it has been donated to us by Coles Motors of Mortlake. We thank them very much for the gift. For the partner of the winning debutant, there is a Parker pen valued at $90 and that has been donated by Bruce Rogers from Freud Street, Warrnambool. Proceeds from the ball will be donated to Lifeline and the support group for the handicapped. I would like to mention that there hasn't been any rehearsal for tonight's ball and we realise that they are all young people but I'm sure they're going to do a very able job. And I would like before we start the presentation to explain the judging procedure to you. We have six judges for the first presentation. They will be judging individually and each judge will be allowed to choose two girls. The same will happen in the second presentation. Those numbers will be put into an envelope and the numbers that the judges have selected will be then recalled onto the floor for the final choice. Our judges for this evening, I'm delighted to say, and we do extend a welcome to them, is Jean and Cyril Delahunty from Ballarat. <laughs> Joy and Jack Price from Hayward. <laughs> and Valerie and John Farley from Woolsthorpe. Our pianist for the presentation is Mrs. Iris Edsall from Port Ferry. Thank you, judges, and thank you, Iris. Wind. 
made her debut in the 1980 technical school debut on set. Her partner is Stephen Nunn. Number five is Kim Harris from Garbock. She made her debut in the 1982 Tirang High School debut on ball. Her partner is her father, Ian Harris. Jenny Hamilton from Port Ferry. She made her debut 1982 at the Yambuck Debutant Ball. Her partner is Jared De Beers. Number seven is Christine Wilkinson of Warrnambool. She made her debut at the 1982 Technical School Debut on Ball. Her partner is Lee Bradford. Number eight is Angela Arundel from Glen Ormiston. She made her debut at the 1982 St Thomas's Parish Ball terrain. Her partner is Shane Fraser. Number nine is Robin Bell from Wangoom. A 1982 debutant at the Warrnambool High School. Her partner is Ashley Gillen. Now number 10 and 11 and 12 have cancelled, so we go on to number 13. Maureen Ryan from The Sisters. She made her debut at the 1982 Tirang High School debut on ball and is partnered by her father, Mr. Mac Ryan. Number 14 is Joanne McKinnon from South Eckland. She made her debut at the 1982 St. Thomas's debut on ball. Her partner is Chris McKinnon. Number 15 is Daylene Ferry of Warrnambool. She made her debut in the 1981 Warrnambool Technical School debut on ball. Her partner is Wayne Robinson. Number 16 is Gillian MacDonald from Grasmere. She made her debut in the 1982 Warrnambool Technical Debutant Ball. Her partner, her brother, Neil MacDonald. Number 17 is Sharon Shrub from Tirang. She was a 1982 debutant from the Tirang High School Debutant Ball. Her partner is Peter Bartlett. Number 18 is Elise Hommelhoff from Port Ferry, a 1982 debutant from the Warrnambool Technical School Debutant Ball, and her partner is Lindsay Marr. Number 19 is Pam Grummet from Tirang, a 1982 debutant from the Tirang High School debutant set. Her partner is Robert Brody. Number 20 is Patricia Baxter from Jane Court East, a 1982 debutant from the Tipoon debutant ball. Her partner 
is Bruce Shoulders. Number 21 has cancelled. Number 22, Gail Kearney from Port Ferry, a 1982 debutante with the Warrnambool High School debutante ball. Her partner is Craig Bradford. Number 23 has cancelled. Number 24, Catherine Ryan from The Sisters, 1982, Terrain High School debutante ball, and her partner is Bradley Jones. Number 25, Terrain Tracy Priestley from Dennington, 1982 debutante from the Warrnambool High School debutante ball. Her partner is Craig Abram. Number 26, Julianne Lenahan from the 1982 St. Pius West debutante ball and her partner is Peter Lenahan. <coughs> Number 27, Debbie Marnie from Karoit. She made her debut at the 1981 Warrnambool Technical School debut and ball and her partner is Glenn Marnie. Number 28 is Angela Bell, a 1982 debutante from St Thomas's Ball, Tirang. Her partner is Patrick Reed. Number 29 is Carmel Leithhead from Warrnambool. A 1981 debutante from the Warrnambool High School debutant ball. Her partner is David Kelly. Number 30 is Beverly Jennings from South Eglin. A 1982 debutante from the Terrain High School debutant ball. Her partner is Michael Struth. Would you please hand in your voting tickets to Mr. Tom Harland at the end of the stage? Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Ludeman. We'll have one bracket, please, of the Pride of Erin.
Is that enough for you judges? Want another bracket? Just a show of hands. Thank you very much. I think they all look very, very lovely indeed. Tom, could you uh, pick up the cards, please? Tom Highland.
Monica Ryan from the Sisters, a 1982 high school debutante. Her partner, Rodney O'Toole. Number 33, Marie Buxton from Caramut, a 1982 debutante from the Warrnambool Technical School debutant set. Her partner is Nigel Borkin. Number 34 is Julianne Shrub of Tirang, a 1982 debutant from the Tirang High School debutant ball. Her partner is Paul Ryan. Shireen Delaney from Timboon, a 1982 debutant from the Timboon High School debutant ball. Her partner is Peter Ludeman. Number 36 is Elaine Hammond from Tirang, a 1982 debutant from St Thomas's debutant ball. Her partner is Tony Ziegler. Number 37 is Jennifer Cornell from Nullawarri, a 1982 debutant from the Timburn High School debutant ball. And her partner is Patrick Lyons. is Leanne Testro from Pernham, a 1982 debutante from the Pernham debutante ball, and her partner is Michael O'Sullivan. 1939 has cancelled. No, 39 has cancelled. Number 40, Janice Lang from Warrnambool, a 1982 debutante from the Warrnambool High School debutante ball. has cancelled. Number 42, June O'Donnell from Warrnambool, a 1981 debutant from Our Lady Help of Christians Ball. Her partner is Paul Healy. Number 43 has cancelled. Number 44, Lisa Cooper from Warrnambool, a 1982 debutant from the Warrnambool High School Hall. Her partner is Adam Steer. Number 45 is Tanya Blackburn from Tirang, a 1982 debutant from the Tirang High School debutant ball. Her partner is Paul Maloney. Number 46 is Marianne Anderson from Warrnambool, a 1981 debutant from Our Lady Help of Christians debutant ball. She is partnered by David McFarlane. Number 47 is Kate Bramish from Tirang, a 1982 debutant from the Tirang High School ball. Her partner is Mark Burke. Number 48 is Diane Wellman from Warrnambool, a 1982 debutant from the Warrnambool High School debutant ball. And she is partnered by Paul McFadden. Number 49 has cancelled. Number 50, Debbie Brighton from Warrnambool, a 1981 debutant from the Warrnambool High School debutant ball. And her partner is Shane McGrath. Number 51 
Suzanne Gleason from Tower Hill, a 1982 debutant from St Joseph's Debutant Ball. Her partner is Peter Price. Number 52 is Gillian Stevenson from Warrnambool, a 1982 debutant from the Warrnambool High School Ball. Her partner is Gavin Steer. Number 53 is Alison Ryan from Warrnambool, a 1982 debutant from Our Lady Help of Christians and is partnered by Greg Quinlan. Number 54 is Denise Shanley from Warrnambool, a 1982 debutant from Our Lady Help of Christians and her partner is Andrew Mann. Number 55 is Karen Battistello from Air Sport, a 1982 debutant from the St Thomas's Parish Ball Tirang. She is partnered by Gavin Anders. Number 56 has cancelled. Number 57, Lisa Haddon from Lang. 1982, Warrnambool High School debutant ball. Her partner is Shane Battistello. Number 58 is Louise Healy from Tirang. A 1982 debutant from the St Thomas's Parish Ball, Tirang. And her partner is Andrew Conroy. I would like to mention that Shirley made her debut in 1981 in the year of the disabled. With the aid of her trainer, she was able to participate. Although because of her disability, she is not able to dance very well. Shirley for wishing to take part tonight. She wanted to wear her lovely gown again. Shirley will stand in the centre of the hall and the other girls will dance around. At the end of the Pride of Erin again, judges, would you hand in your cards, please?
Have we had the judges? Have had enough? You're right, eh? You ready? Want one more bracket, John?
Number eight, Angela Arundel from Glen Ormiston South. She's 16 years of age. She made her debut at St Thomas's Parish Ball and she was trained by Mrs Russie Walters of Warnerville and her partner is Shane Fraser. Number 18 is Elise Hommelhoff of Port Ferry. She is 16. She made her debut at the Warrnambool Technical School and she was trained by Mrs Audrey Nunn and her partner is Lindsay Marr. <laughs> Number five is Kim Harris of Garbock, age 16. Made her debut at the Terang High School debut on set. Her trainer was Mr. Bill Blackburn, and she's partnered by her father, Ian Harris. <laughs> Number 19 is Pam Grummet from Tirang. She's 16. She made her debut at the Tirang High School Ball. She was trained by Mr. Bill Blackburn, and her partner is Robert Brody. Number 20 is Patricia Baxter from Jane Court East via Cobden, age 16. She made her debut at the Timboon High School Ball and was trained by, by Mrs Betty Patalik from Scotch Creek and her partner is Bruce Shoulders. <laughs> Number 14 is Miss Joanne McKinnon from Eckland South, age 16. She made her debut at the St Thomas's Parish Ball and was trained by Mrs Russie Walters of Warrnambool and her partner is Chris McKinnon. <laughs> Number 27, Debbie Marnie from Coroit, age 17. She made her debut at the Warrnambool Technical School in 1981 and was trained by Mrs Audrey Nunn, her partner Glenn Marnie. <laughs> Number 48, Diane Wellman of Warrnambool, age 16, made her debut at the Warrnambool Technical School Ball, was trained by Mrs Audrey Nunn, her partner Paul McFadden. <laughs> Number 36, Elaine Hammond, she from Tirang, age 16, she made her debut at the St Thomas's Parish Ball and was trained by Mrs Russie Walters of, T of Warrnambool. Her partner is Tony Ziegler. <laughs> Number 35 is Sherine Delaney of Timboon, age 16. She made her debut at the Timboon High School Consolidated Debutant Ball and was trained by Mrs. Betty Patalik of Scotch Creek. Her partner is Peter Ludeman. <laughs> Number 52, Gillian Stevenson of Warrnambool, age 16, 1982 debut on set from the Warrnambool High School Hall. Mrs. Audrey Nunn was her trainer and Gavin Steer is her partner. Number 34 is Julianne Shrub of Tirang, age 17, from the Tirang High School debut on ball. Her trainer was Mr Bill Blackburn and her partner is Paul Ryan. <laughs> Number 44 is Lisa Cooper of Warrnambool, age 16. She was a debutante at the Warrnambool High School ball and her trainer was Mrs Audrey Nunn and her partner is Adam Steer. Thank you. Could you uh, space yourself out a little more? You bit crowded on this side, please. One bracket of the Pride of Erin, please.
just can't. Okay, thanks very much. We'll keep you in suspense for a little longer. We're going to have another dance first and then we'll hopefully announce the winner a little later.
ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure tonight on behalf of the Coles Coaches in Lord Lake and the Coach House Accommodation House in Pride to present this prize of a weekend for two to the snow to Shireen for being valid devs for season 1982. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have another presentation to be made. Uh, a present for Shireen. Also, we have a presentation pin from Rogers News Agency for her partner. Would you accept that? Also, uh, uh, Shireen has not only won the uh, City of Warrnambool uh, sash, she has won our Quest 82 sash as a finalist in, in our Quest 82 ball on October the 9th. So I'll have much pleasure in presenting her with the sash, not to clash with this one. Uh, we won't put it on her, but uh, we'll give it to her to, uh, to take home and uh, welcome her as a finalist in our Quest 82 ball this year in the, in the bell section, of course. <laughs> Shireen and her partner to stand a little the other side of the stage and I'll, it's my pleasure now to welcome to the microphone Councillor Bob Barham. Uh, thank you very much Bruce, Mr Mayor, Mayor Ed, distinguished guests, deputants, partners, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the Premier Town Committee I would like to say first of all uh, how grateful we are to the Waterville District Old Time Dance Club for uh, arranging again another very, very successful function. Certainly uh, always up to the standard that we expect uh, we've been used to and we certainly know that it's going to continue along the same lines as we have always expected the club as being such a successful one to be able to stage such a, a function as to going tonight. Uh, I would like to say on behalf of the committee how much uh, the old time uh, dance club has done for this premier town uh, era that we've been in for the last three years and of course the whole community has always played uh, has played uh, a lot of different roles and anyone that's using the logo and staging events such as this is what we encourage and of course uh, and that's only achieved by by the community themselves by putting a lot of work and a lot of effort into it. Uh, I'd like to congratulate on behalf of the committee, Shireen uh, Delaney and Peter Ludeman, uh, very worthy winners, and I think we all had to feel for the judges, and I'd like to join in, in also saying thank you to the judges for a very, very difficult job. If I was uh, having to do it, I think I'd have to give the prize to the snow too to get the heat off. <laughs> Uh, to the judges, it is a very difficult job and it's, I think we can all feel for them and I we appreciate uh, the, the work that they have put into it. It hasn't been easy and you've certainly done it in a very admirable way and we appreciate it and thank you for your efforts very, very much. The sponsors also, Mr Jeff Cole, uh, he's been running tours to the snow and getting a lot of support from Warrnambool it's very, very nice. We appreciate the fact that uh, the bus lines, Coles bus lines, are going to put something back and giving a prize such as, as it is. It's a very, very good prize to win. I'm sure that you're going to enjoy the, the trip. In fact, I wouldn't mind going with you myself. <laughs> <laughs> but to get everything supplied with the skis, the boots, the instructor, and a top five-star coach, and I know that the people of Pippa, Chicken and champagne, Doris, you say so, but it's all there, and the ones who've been on that trip say that it's magnificent, and it's a very, very good prize to win. And of course, apologies from our other donor, which is Mr. Bruce Rogers, the honorary director of the Premier Town, has worked very, very hard, and he's sorry that he can't be here tonight, 
And of course, uh, he did uh, ask if we would pass on his apologies and best wishes to the club for their, for their work. Bruce has worked very closely with the club, and I know that that's why he wanted to be part of giving the prize. And of course, we've got representing Bruce is Mr. Dan Madden, who's a very energetic, dedicated worker on the Premier Town Committee with his wife Margaret. And Dan, of course, is the chairman of the Mahogany Ship, which is again under the umbrella of the Premier Town Committee and doing very, very well. And I'm sure that. If Dan continues to work with Mahogany Ship, he has been doing, I wouldn't be surprised if he finds the Mahogany Ship and you're all coming back again to see him. Um, so with that, I'd like to just say uh, a very sincere thank you to one person who does a tremendous amount of work uh, in every detail. There's nothing that she doesn't forget to do. And of course, Warnable, I believe you could go anywhere in Australia, perhaps anywhere in the Commonwealth, before you find anybody that goes to such pains to make sure that everything goes with such a success. And it's not just a night, it's every show that, that she's associated with over many, many years. And Warnable is very, very grateful to the Premier Town Committee for a person that she doesn't need much help or much support. She says what she's going to do, and we say with, with our blessing we'd like to continue and do it. And Dorothy does it magnificently well. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to me to say, and I'll say on behalf of the Premier Town Committee, Thank you very, very much to Dorothy Lehman for another magnificent job. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Councillor Barron. I would like to uh, add my thanks also for the job that, uh, on behalf of the rest of the club, the job that Dorothy has done. As you know, Dorothy does the crest ball each year, and uh, this year it's been like doing two crest balls, uh, the work that she's put into this uh, particular function here tonight. Uh, a function like this just doesn't happen. Uh, it has to be planned, and uh, Dorothy has been planning this for some months now, and uh, she has pulled the brunt of the work. And on behalf of other members of the committee and the club, I would like to add my thanks also to those of uh, uh, Councillor Barham. I will just mention that uh, Councillor Barham's wife uh, was the uh, lady who placed the sash on our winner. Uh, we just missed that at the time. Uh, Gwen was doing it and uh, thank you very much Gwen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, oh, just one other thing I would like to say uh, while I'm on the microphone. Uh, so many of these young ladies here tonight um, enjoying themselves obviously. Uh, the Waterville and District Old Time Dance Club would welcome any of these girls and indeed the, uh, their partners as members of the club if they're interested in old time dancing. And uh, you would be welcome to come to the club at any time. We, uh, our club meets uh, for dancers on the first and third Thursdays every month without any break all the year round. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. I'll hand you, hand you back to uh, Mr Lawrence Hedge. Sabra is a battle.